Hey everyone, welcome to another video. I am Umang Mawani, software engineer by profession and I solve coding interview questions. To know more about me, check out my LinkedIn profile in the description. Today's problem is max sum sub array of size k. The problem description says, given an array of integers of size n and number k, return the maximum sum of sub array of size k. For example, if the array size is 4, and the subarray size is 2 the output is 700 because of 300 plus 400 in second example the subarray size is 4 and also the array size is 4 hence the output will be 1000 that is sum of all the elements now the brute force approach which usually people think of is using this method now here we can see that for every element of the input array we are calculating the sum of the next k element hence the time complexity here goes to n into k where n is the size of the given input array let me try to show you with the help of an example now if you see this example, consider size k equals to 5. The inefficiency here is that for any two consecutive subarrays of size 5, the overlapping part, which will contain four elements, will be evaluated twice. Now, as you can see, there are four overlapping elements here between the subarray indexed from 0 to 4 and the subarray indexed from 1 to 5. The overlapping elements here are 3, 2, 6 and minus 1. Now, can we somehow use these four sum that we have calculated for the overlapping elements? I think yes. The efficient way to solve this problem would be, let us visualize each continuous sub array as a sliding window of size 5. This means that when we move on to the next sub array, we will slide the window by one element. So, to reuse the sum from the previous subarray, we will subtract the element going out of the window that is this one and we will add the element that is being included into the sliding window that is this 4. Now using this we can go through whole subarray to find the sum and the time complexity will also be reduced to O of n. Let us have a look at this example to understand it better. Consider the array of size 6 and the subarray size as k equal to 3. We initialize the variable as 0 first. Now, if you see, the size 3 is calculated and the window sum is 8. Now, as we slide the window by one position, we can see that 2 is subtracted from this and 1 is added to this window sum, which updates the window sum to 7. Now again, 1 is subtracted and 3 is added, which updates the window sum to 9. Now since 9 is greater than max sum 8, we update the max sum as well. And similarly, in the last step, we subtract 5 and add 2, updating the window sum as 6. And we return max sum as 9 as our answer. Now let us score through and see. I will change this array list to array to make the code simpler and easy to understand. To convert, I'll be using streams. Now let us initialize few variables first. This is our current window sum that is 0, our max sum which will be our answer and I'll initialize one more variable start. Now the reason why I've initialized this will be understood in few seconds. Now let us write a for loop to iterate through the array. We will update our current window sum. Now 
now if the current window sum is greater than k minus 1 then we'll do some following steps now the reason i've written minus 1 is because we are starting our for loop from 0 so here first we will update our max sum if required for that i'll be using math operator next once we have updated the max sum the second step is to subtract the first element from the current window sum so that will be our start element which i have initialized to zero over here so this will make sure we remove the first element from the current window sum now one important step here is to increment the start variable so that it will point to the next element now once this for loop is completed our maxim will be our return let us compile um, okay it says some Okay, let us see. I think we have missed somewhere. Okay, this will be end because end keeps the track of our size, the window size which we are using. Yeah, sorry for that. And the output is correct. Let us submit. and it is submitted so that's it for this video guys i hope you understood the solution and please do mention in comment if you have any queries also like share and subscribe this channel to help me solve more problems for you thank you